70% of the 500 billion tons of plastic produced on Earth every year ends up in landfills where it will take at least several centuries to begin decomposing. Several companies have begun tackling this ecological dilemma by developing plastic alternatives that are biodegradable. Seraplast, based in California, uses resin made from corn and tapioca to manufacture disposable items like cups and packaging. When you use it, you send it to a compost site, it will biodegrade with no chemical residue and will disappear in less than 180 days. Seraplast also makes hybrid products that are 50% traditional plastic and 50% cornstarch. So the environmental impact is half as much as regular plastic, products are sturdier and use fewer petrochemical ingredients. So it's a very attractive material uh, in terms of the environment. It's a very attractive material in terms of energy independence. And I personally believe that this is a material of the future. This is what plastic of the 21st century is going to be made of. But there are some challenges. This more environmentally friendly plastic is about 20% more expensive. And if production takes off, it risks pushing up the price of materials that are part of the food supply. So Frederick Scheer is working on finding other non-food materials, like algae. Algae, in our mind, is a solution. Why? Because algae is something that we can grow artificially at very low cost. And all the companies that are currently working on algae, they extract the oil from the algae, they end up with huge amount of biomass, and the biomass is what we are interested in. Seraplast plans to unveil its first algae-based products in 2010.